In our fast-paced world, the Stoic philosophy offers a unique lens through which we can re-evaluate our relationship with boredom. Instead of fearing moments of quiet introspection, Stoicism invites us to embrace them as opportunities for self-discovery and personal development. In this exploration, we'll uncover how boredom, when viewed through a Stoic lens, can become a catalyst for creativity and a path to a more fulfilling life. Chapter 1. Escaping Boredom and Losing the Self In the realm of Stoicism, a fundamental truth emerges. Our inner self is the ultimate sanctuary. Stoicism warns against the perpetual pursuit of external stimuli to escape boredom, likening it to drifting farther from the shores of our true nature. The Stoic emphasis on prososh, or attention, invites us to be deeply engaged with our thoughts, fostering a connection with our inner landscape. In the gentle embrace of solitude, we encounter our true selves, where core values and aspirations germinate. Stoicism is not a mere guideline, but an invitation to an inner odyssey. It asserts that in solitude, aspirations become guiding constellations, illuminating the path to a virtuous and purposeful life. Adhering to Stoic principles is embracing the external world with the understanding that external richness is intertwined with internal reflections. It's a call to cultivate sustained communion with our inner selves, fostering a life of authenticity, virtue and purpose. Chapter 2 From Boredom to Productivity in Stoicism, the concept of apatheia encourages us to cultivate a state of tranquility by accepting the inherent challenges of life. When we face boredom, rather than succumbing to restlessness, we can utilize these moments to reflect on our goals and priorities. This Stoic practice transforms seemingly monotonous tasks into opportunities for personal and professional growth, aligning with the philosophy's emphasis on virtue and wisdom. As we embrace the Stoic principle of apatheia, envision it not as a passive detachment, but as an active engagement with the ebb and flow of life's challenges. In the face of boredom, Stoicism challenges us to view these moments not as hurdles to be hastily crossed, but as pit stops for introspection. These seemingly mundane intervals become fertile grounds for planting the seeds of self-discovery and resilience. The Stoic sage, undisturbed by the waves of restlessness, navigates these waters with a serene composure, extracting profound insights from the stillness of boredom. This transformative outlook elevates the ordinary to the extraordinary, turning the philosophy into a dynamic guide for navigating life's multifaceted journey. Chapter 3 confronting distractions. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control, the choices we make and the responses we cultivate. Constant distraction and procrastination are contrary to this Stoic principle. By confronting the discomfort of boredom, we develop resilience and self-discipline. This aligns with the Stoic idea of eudaimonia, the pursuit of a flourishing life guided by reason and virtue, which often requires enduring short-term discomfort for long-term well-being. In the Stoic arena, envision the confrontation with boredom not as a mere battle, but as a training ground for the soul. Stoicism, with its resolute emphasis on what lies within our sphere of influence, propels us to face the discomfort head-on. The continuous pursuit of distraction and procrastination becomes a discordant note in the symphony of Stoic living, Instead, Stoicism transforms these seemingly mundane moments of boredom into crucibles where resilience is forged and self-discipline is honed. The Stoic practitioner, standing firm against the allure of constant distraction, navigates the path toward eudaimonia, an existence guided by reason and virtue. Chapter 4 Boredom and Innovation in the tapestry of Stoic philosophy, reason is not a distant guide, but an intimate companion on the journey of understanding the world's natural order. The lives of luminaries such as Newton and Watt become vibrant illustrations of Stoic principles woven into the fabric of their pursuits. Newton's moments of contemplation beneath the apple tree become more than a historical anecdote. They embody the essence of prosoche, the Stoic art of attentive living. 
The apple's descent became a catalyst not just for gravity, but for Newton's deep connection with the workings of the universe. Likewise, Watt's fascination with the boiling kettle transcends the mundane. It becomes a stoic dance with curiosity, finding profound meaning in the ordinary. In these moments of contemplation, Stoicism isn't just a philosophy. It's a lived experience, guiding these visionaries toward the wellspring of inner wisdom. Chapter 5. Wisdom in Boredom Philosophers such as Friedrich Nietzsche and Immanuel Kant, though not adherents of Stoicism, astutely recognized boredom as a profound opportunity for self-reflection and intellectual exploration. Nietzsche's poignant insight that resisting boredom is, in essence, resisting oneself, echoes the timeless Stoic call to delve deep into self-knowledge. In the Stoic lexicon, understanding oneself is not just a philosophical maxim, but a practical guide to navigating the complexities of life. Nietzsche, in aligning with this Stoic principle, underscores that boredom is not an adversary, but a reflective mirror inviting us to confront the nuances of our own existence. Kant, a luminary in his own right, contributes to this philosophical duet by emphasizing the inspirational power of boredom. His belief that boredom serves as a catalyst for exploring new ideas resonates harmoniously with the Stoic pursuit of virtue through reason. The Stoic sage, committed to the path of virtue, recognizes that reason is not a passive observer, but an active participant in the unfolding narrative of intellectual growth. In embracing boredom, the Stoic philosophy converges with Kant's perspective, transforming moments of apparent monotony into gateways for intellectual discovery. From the vantage point of Stoicism, boredom becomes more than a temporary state of ennui. It becomes a transformative journey toward self-awareness and intellectual fulfillment. The Stoic path, intertwined with Nietzsche's call to self-knowledge and Kant's vision of boredom as a wellspring of inspiration, charts a course for a richer, more meaningful existence. In this convergence of philosophical insights, the Stoic sage learns not just to endure boredom, but to embrace it as a guide, an ally on the quest for wisdom, virtue, and a life deeply and authentically lived. Chapter 6. Stoic Embrace Stoicism encourages us to be comfortable with solitude and to appreciate the present moment. By embracing boredom, we align with the Stoic practice of apathia, finding tranquility amid life's challenges. This acceptance of boredom is not passive, but an active engagement with our inner selves. Through mindfulness and self-reflection, we discover the true nature of our desires and fears. This stoic approach to boredom becomes a path to inner peace and a deeper connection with our values. This active engagement with boredom from the Stoic perspective becomes a transformative journey facilitated by mindfulness and self-reflection. Far from a state of mere listlessness, boredom becomes a canvas for exploring the landscapes of our inner selves. In these moments of introspection, we navigate the currents of desire and confront the shadows of fear. The Stoic philosophy, deeply rooted in self-awareness, sees boredom as a mirror reflecting the true nature of our aspirations and apprehensions. Stoicism as a guide leads us through the labyrinth of boredom toward inner peace. This path is not a passive stroll, but an intentional exploration, a journey into the recesses of our values and principles. The Stoic approach to boredom isn't a mere coping mechanism, it's an artful practice, fostering resilience and fortitude. In embracing boredom, we unearth a path to profound tranquility and a richer, more authentic connection with the core of our being. Thank you for joining me on this philosophical exploration. Remember the key to a stoic life is not just in knowing, but in doing. Seize the day, stay resilient, and may your path be filled with wisdom and virtue. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with those who may benefit from the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Until next time, stay stoic, stay strong.